Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. Actually, that's all right. We can just remove those because I've got the full blueprint for it up here. So I don't need to worry about that. I want to take that one. And then I can just drop that onto there. Station loader like that. I've now got everything put in place. I've got these up here. I could also do with removing them. I'm actually going to remove them up to there. Like that. And then I'm going to go from there. I'm going to go back that way. Oh. Right. Well, apparently we're not going to do that. I need to remove this back a little bit further. It's got to go back to there in order to be able to fit down properly. Then I will take the railway. And I go from there. And I run that in a straight line down to here. And that's going to go right there like that. So that should join in onto everything up there. And then this bit of track down here, that's going to go. And then I'm going to take this one, and that is going to go onto there like that. Right. The rest of that, we're just waiting on the robots to turn up, deliver all of that. We've got a load of construction robots on. There we go. They're already on their way. And, yeah, i got hundreds of those. Next, I will take this. And I bring out the belt. All the way along here. In the normal fashion. Now, that does not cover those. So those up there are not going to be powered. Which means I'm going to need to put some power on them. I'll do it like that. And it's the same with these out this side. So I'm going to need to do that. There. Like that. I think the rest of them are actually all right. I'm hoping so, anyway. Um, that one can go and that one can go off of that end. Drag that out and that out. So then I go like this. That goes up that way. There, like that. You go... Actually, you can go like that. If, if I bring you down to here, like this, then I drop in one of them like that. And then I go this side. And I bring that one down there like that. You go over to here. Like that. This one will go over to here, and it will go like that. And then that one will have one of those going onto it. And this will go in this way. And you can see it's already spreading out to all sides of the belts. And this, this is a really good thing. We want it to spread out to all sides of the belts. That one there can go in that way a little bit. I'm going to bring these out next. Right, well, if you go there... And this one here will go like that and run along there. And then this one can't reach. This one will go here and run along here like this. And like that. This one here will come down that way, out there, and then up to that point right there. Then I will drop in that one and that one. So that's just going to mix them up a little bit. So that one can actually come back over to here like this. Because this will go... If I do it like that. Into there. And then this one... Like that. That one will go up to there. And then that will 
drop into there, and then I will do that. So that shuffles and mixes that one up as well. And then they go into here, and everything gets shuffled and mixed up in here. That one can come out. And that one will do that. So there we go. I've got all of those lines are now running into the station. I've got my trains here. So I have one, two locomotives there, and then uh, five, six, seven, eight. So I make two trains over here. Very important that we make two trains. I've got Dr. Herpaderp is the train station at the moment, but we've actually need to go to our Great Book of Names, and we need to go in here. So I've, this is the fifth train station that we're doing in here. This one is simply called Jamie. So I will go to Jamie right over there, and I will rename that one Jamie there. You can change, you can color code everything, right? You can color code the trains and the stops and all sorts if you want to do that. So some people do, they color code all of the, the copper and the iron. And uh, some people will have trains carrying everything around. Like they go to big, um, they would like have a smelting station here. And everything gets taken there and smelted. And then the plates get moved from there to the next location. And then they get dealt with. And like, it's all really, really spread out. And thousands of trains going everywhere. I like trains, but I don't like trains that much. I'd, I'm not really particularly interested in having thousands of trains running everywhere. I don't I don't feel the need for that. I'm just going to bring that one over there like that. And put that one there. Right. I've got two mining drills that do not have power. There's that one. And there is that one there. Right. Now all mining drills have got full power. I've got everything powered. Oh. Oh that these here aren't powered. So let us go there, here, and here like this. That's now fully powered as well. I've got power, I've got lights, and everything that I could possibly want going all the way round. Yeah, I got the rail signal there, and then that signal up there, that's fine as well. So they will route find their way around there. I don't have any fuel on me. So because I don't have any fuel on me, I can't deal with it from here. I need to go elsewhere. But I mean, everything's now full of copper and it's 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 flowed through evenly. So we're from that point. We then want to go up here. And I am going to do four trains per station, I think. I think that would be the best option. Although... Maybe I should put more stations down. Stations do... There's no denying that stations do look good. Alright, you've persuaded me. I will put down another station. Only because you asked me to. Only because you've all asked me to. I will put in another station. Let's remove... That lot there a minute. And then we will go here. We will go with an unloading station. Station loader. Uh, station load. Oh no. This needs to be a copy and paste. Copy. Right. So what have I done here? Is that exactly the same? I'm not entirely sure what I've done now. I think it's just like that. It goes all the way down to there is what we will do. And then we bring that over to there. And that one can unload onto there. Right, there we go. We place all of that lot down. We've got a few other bits that are going to be placed down as well. I've got 3,000... I've only got 100 robots flying at the moment. 450. Oh, I've still got 23 chests to do. Um, It's... Over 500 solar panels to do. I've got a number of items that still need to be placed down. I'm going to come down here. Now, this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. On the ends of it. So, I put that there. We've got that all in the right place there. That's, that's everywhere. Everything needs to go in there is, is in there. So, then I've got no train tracks on me. Great. Bring me some railways, please. Oh, I don't have any stone on me. I can't make my own railways. And what I can do is I can just send that one over there a minute. 
And I can send that one over there a minute. And I've literally just got to sit and wait for the railways to be brought to me. But am I making railways? Yeah, have a look through. So I, I know that I'm, I know that I'm, I'm making them. No, don't, don't get me wrong. I am definitely making them. Oh, I've, I've got loads of them. Right, that's okay. So they will have it. They'll bring me some over in just a minute. It, it may take them a second or two to re... Oh! No, they're not going to bring me any railways because I haven't actually got any requested. I did think something a little bit hinky was going on. Okay, we'll request a few. There. I've now requested a few. And there I've got the two trains. And I've got the rest of the stuff here as well. I just kind of... I, I need to hang on a second and wait for some more railway to be brought over. Right. I have railway has been brought over. We're also getting some queues up around here in places. So I've started making some more roboports as well, which we will use in a bit. I then need to rotate those round and join that one in there like that. Then I come down here and I put that one on there. So there isn't enough room in there for a spare train, but there is enough room for a spare train to go in there. Right, I do have enough room to put one train there. I don't have enough room for a spare train in there. But there's not going to be enough room for two trains in there anyway. We know that. There's, there's nothing that I can do about that. So, this this just kind of an accepted thing. So, those there. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that bit for a minute. Uh, I then want to move up here. So, I've got that one. Now, is that in the right spot? That one is in the right spot. One, two, three, four, four. Yes. Okay. So we need to imitate that. That one's got to go right there. And I want to go up a little bit further. And now, one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. I'm going to put that one down there. And then I'm going to go with the... Train, actually, I'm not going to go with the train track at all. I'm going to go with a copy on here. I'm simply going to copy all of that down to there. And I'm going to drop that there. It's the location where it's got to be. Why have I got that train unloading there. Oh! It's because I... Ah! I copied and pasted. It's actually given the train... It's given the station the same name. I didn't realise it did that. I had no idea that you could give two stations the same name. That is a bit of a problem. But anyway, it's not supposed to be Windwalker at all, is it? It's supposed to be uh, Dante. This one here is Dante. There. Right. That's Dante on there. I had no idea that that was even a thing. I genuinely had no idea that you could do that. So that one's gone in there when he shouldn't have done. And then we're going to go up here, and I need to go from here. And I need to go into here. And I bring that one in like that. So you will go there. Now that train down there will go on his merry. And he will go and find his way back round the tracks. Everywhere he's supposed to go, that one will drop that one in up there. That's fine like that. So sometimes there's a little bit of a queue to get back onto this area here. Uh, but that, that'll work out fine as well. We won't worry about that for a minute. Uh, what we will do is we will come back down here. So, yeah, I didn't realise that you could actually copy the station name. That's not something I even knew was possible. Because I didn't think you could have two station names the same. Still, never mind. I'm going to take you. And I'll 
I'll drop you down there. Get that one loading. And then... I'm going to put that one down there as well. And then I'm going to take cargoes. One, two, three, four. Like that. And I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to go... Can't reach. One, two, three, four. Like that. So we've got those in there. This one right here... I'm going to go with that one. And we've got Dante as the station up here. So I'm going to add station. Dante... Add weight condition, and it's going to be empty cargo. And then I'm going to add the other station, which is down here. That one is Jamie. So add station down there, Jamie, and then add weight condition. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, full cargo, and add another weight condition in activity until five seconds has passed. And yeah, I'm just going to leave that as five seconds of inactivity. I don't think I need to worry about changing it to anything different than that. Um... You can change these things on the fly if you want to. So that one's done there. If I go over to you, I change that there to just five seconds of inactivity. There. Like that. That's um, waiting on full cargo. But you can see right there, that's just counting the inactivity there. So that, that's absolutely fine. You right here, this locomotive noisemaker... I copy that one. I'm going to run down here and I'm going to paste that onto there. So this one down here, this is locomotive Vixus. There. That is now empty cargo condition at Dante and then full cargo or inactivity for five seconds down at Jamie. So I've got both of those now up and ready and raring to go. So you up here, I will switch you to automatic and you will go. And then I will take from here 50 solid fuel. I will run down here and I will drop that into there like that. And then I'll switch that one to automatic. And he will go up here to this station. And he will stop and then he's empty so he will immediately go on around the tracks. So we've got one train there, we've got one train there, we've got one train there. And this... Is what I love. See, look at all these trains we got going around the track. And none of them should get in the way of any of the others. I always make sure that I only ever have two trains per pickup station. And I always have enough room that both trains can wait at the pickup station. Um, so Jamie's over there. He's being filled. And then that one's coming in here. And he's going to come down here, round and into there. And he's... Straight away going off and loading. And then he comes back up. He goes round and he goes around that way. The only issue that I've got at the moment is this bit right here. Now I know I'm not using that track along there. But this does need to be changed. That is no good. Because it's going to come along there. It's going to have to come along a little bit further. And it's going to loop up. And then it will loop back onto this track. And then it will loop off and go up here. So that I don't have it crossing over at any point. So I got the stone loading over there because I'm going to be loading this one up here at some point and I'm probably going to be loading this one. I'm going to need to make it so that we can loop things around. So I'll probably have to move those as well. And then it's so that I don't have any crossover points. No crossing points anywhere. So there's no crosses anywhere on any trains. And we've also got at no point are we going to have any... Um, like, well, actually, that's it. It's, it's just, so it's, it's a continuous loop all the way around, a continuous loop without any crossings anywhere. So I'm just going to run across here like that. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to take these eight over here. Let me just go to here. Always be aware when you're near the tracks. I did already show you what happens when you go too close to the tracks. You get squat. But always be aware. Always be aware that the trains want to crush you. They want to destroy you. They want to decimate you. Just crush the life away from you. They want to. This, the, the, they exist to do that. And they will long to do so. Don't let them. So my advice to you is don't let them. Now I'm going to remove that one. And then I'm going to remove that one. And that one. And that one. Down through there like that. And then I'm going to take these. I've got five of these now. And that's six of these now. And then we're going to run those in a line down 
here like that. So then I've got plenty of these. That's a straight line running from the storage area down to here. That one is very nearly full now. Right, we're getting more and more full on all of those, which is really good. Take these. There. i got one more RoboPort that won't fit down there. That's fine. I don't mind about that. One spare is absolutely fine. And then I've got those RoboPorts there. I'm thinking maybe we should put another bit of a line along here. Just to keep that running. I mean, I don't need to at the moment, I guess. I will get rid of those. There. Is there anything else I want to get rid of? I don't think so. Although, it does appear that I have a little bit of a shortage of iron gear wheels. I have a look over here. Iron gear wheel production right there. I don't have any more iron gear wheels than what is being done in there. 105,000 wood. We've now got 43,000 coal, so I've got a little bit of extra coal being produced. Uh, 14,000 brick. Plastic bars are good. Advanced circuits are good. That's fantastic news, that is. I did want to do some more with the solid fuel, except I never actually got around to doing it. Uh, 700 iron plates, so we don't have... And 300 copper plates, we don't have spares. And then steel plates, we still don't have spares of steel either. But... We have dramatically increased the rate of production for steel plates. Which is making a huge difference overall. And... It would appear... That now that we got, tw uh, wow, we got 12,000 solar panels down on the ground, the accumulators are actually keeping up. So let's go back up over this way. I've now filled up a whole load of landfill down here, although I'm going to want to get yet more landfill filled in on this. Let's go in here. What's going on here then? Ah, right. I'll take that one. I'll put that RoboPort right there. So I've got a few more RoboPorts to be put down just on that bit there. Which is going to allow the rest of those solar panels to be put down as well. Um, it's not quite enough to do down here. So I will also get a little bit more landfill to go out this side. I'll put some there. And there, and that will be enough to fill in that bit. And then I'm also going to go over here. So I can do one double section there. Another double section here is not going to be enough. It's going to sort of leave a gap. Although, I've got a plan for that, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to put that down, and that down. And that down to there. And then you... And you. And I will fill in that little gap there, like that. There, that's absolutely fantastic. I just need that bit to be filled in. A couple of little robots will come along with the all the necessary requirements to fill that bit in. And they should also fill in this as well. And then on top of that, I also have another request, which I will deal with that in a minute. I'm not going to set that one going just yet. Um... Coal is now backed right up on here as well. This is great. So iron is, steel is really the, 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 the big thing that is slowing us down. Um, I've got, I mean, I've got some steel production, but we don't have enough steel production. We need to be able to boost it. And eventually, I want to get rid of that. Hmm. Just trying to think how I want to go about. Because like, I've got a couple of things in mind that I actually want to do. But I don't want to start doing them too early because it could end up causing me some issues. So we don't want to progress too soon. I've got a lack of iron ore at the moment. We don't have enough iron ore coming in. We've got the iron ore here. Actually, that has now stopped. Right, this is backed up. I don't like the fact that that's backed up, actually. Because I want to be using this iron ore up as rapidly as I possibly can. Right, that's the bit that I want to use up. I want to extract all of that, and then I can just start using it with chests. I mean, I could rip all of that out now. I've got those. They're still going. Hmm. I tell you what. 
I could actually extend this one out a little bit. All right, I've, I've, I've got materials to do that. Let's go over to our storage. I've got some materials to do that with. We've got in here, we've got six furnaces. And... I must have more than that somewhere, surely. Apparently I don't. Apparently... I only have six furnaces. That is everything that I've got. Right, well in which case I will take those six furnaces and I will drop them right down there like that. And then I will take a blue belt over here. Actually, I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to go with that upgrade planner. And then I'm going to run that upgrade planner over that bit there. And then that bit there. And then there. And then down to there. And then I'm going to upgrade that. And I'm going to upgrade that bit up there. Right. That'll do for a minute. Upgrade planned all the way through. You know what? Let's just upgrade that bit. There we go. Okay, there's a couple of little bits that have been upgraded. So then we want to go over this way. Put them down there. You can come off of there. And we will put that one out on the end over there. And we will put that one there like that. So you can keep going. Then I will go uh, copy. And I will do that and I'll bring that down this way oh no oh uh, I see that's sort of slightly different there right I thought I was going to be clever and just do a bit of copying and pasting but um, it's probably quicker if I just do it like this one there move over and then do that. That's, that's probably a much, much faster way of doing this. And then there, there, and there. And the same on this side. Like that. And then finally put those down to there. Like that. Right. So now I've got more steel being done. These are chucking the stuff out as fast as they can anyway. Right the way through, so we've got blue belt coming through, and that's keeping it all stuffed full nice and fast. That's going to get a little bit more steel being made. More steel being made is not a bad thing. It is absolutely not a bad thing. And then this bit up here, I guess really we can just leave that running. That's not re that's not going to change anything. If I don't change, yeah, that, 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 that'll be just fine as it is. That can stay there. Everything else is running flat out. Okay, that's that bit. There's a little bit more steel being made. Now I can go back over here because this bit will have now been done. There, just about. I've got a couple of little bits left over there. That's now all up and running, which means that I can go in here. I want to go to that one. That landfill and... I can fill this in. Just like that. There. And then over and down. Right, perfect. Go up through there like that. I got that little bit of landfill which has got to be filled in here. And we've got this chest up here. We've requested landfill to be put into that chest there. Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day, and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.